this is our lesson number 26 in Sapphire Kingdom Gemology YouTube channel. From here, we are discussing more about Garnet family. This is our part three inside the Garnet family. In this Garnet family, there are a lot of colors and everything we know as earlier lesson. And you can see here, there are a lot of inclusions here. These inclusions are like hostel. So these are very famous hostel inclusions in dementoid garnets. Inside the dementoid, dementoid garnets, it must be inclusions there to get the high price. If it is inclusion free, very low price in dementoid. This is the stone with hostel inclusions. These are Malaya garments. We are learning a lot of things inside this lesson. Shall we move to next? If you forget to subscribe, please subscribe it and share it to send this message to new youth in our country. In this video, we are talking about more about Garnet family. The name Garnet refers to a group of closely related minerals. See the beautiful colors inside the garnets. Garnets are commonly red, but also come in an extraordinary range of beautiful colors, including orange, yellow, purple, and vibrant green. There are even garnets that change colors from blue to purple in different lighting, that is color change garnet, as we learned earlier. Now this is chrome rich, chromium rich dementoid. We discussed in part two earlier lesson. This is dementoid garnet crystals. See the garnet shape. See the garnet shape. Dementoid. See the garnet rough dementoid garnets. We can find these in Ratnapura, Sri Lanka also. Look at this. This is the hostel inclusion inside the garnet. Dementoid garnet. It is a rare stone. See the hostel like inclusion. It is very high priced. Hostels, hostel inclusions increase the beauty and value of the stone. Look at this cut and polish one. So if we can cut a gem with a hostel inclusion like this, it will give high price and the big beauty. Look at the ring with diamond. This is dementoid garnet. These are dementoid garnets. See olive yellowish green, yellow green, yellowish brown also. So these are the color ranges. Look at the beautiful picture inside the stone. That is hostel inclusion. Hostel inclusions are very famous in dementoid garnets. Only the dementoid has inclusions with the value. The others get the low price with inclusions, big inclusions. Right, we are moving to number two. Number one is crossberry, chrome diamond. Number one variety in this lesson, we are learning chrome dementoid. Because of chromium, it gives the color. Number two is gooseberry garnet. Gooseberry garnet. What is that? Gooseberry garnet color change, color, color range is mentioned here. Look at the color range carefully and try to understand. These are gooseberry garnets. Light green to light greenish brown variety. That is brosiola variety. Here all are grossula garnets from light green to light greenish brown. So number two, gooseberry garnet. Number one is chrome dementoid. Number two is gooseberry garnet. Then what is number three? Number three is hessonite. Look at the rough hessonite garnets. Another name for this is Gomed. It is Hessonite garnet. Orange to orange brown. 
and transparent variety of grossular garden. It also grossular. There is a tumultuous, tumultuous inversion in hexamide garnets. Look at this. Inside, we can see like this. In Sri Lanka, we are telling in singular word, it is penagomeda. We can see something again inside that. It is tumultuous inversion of hexamide. It is the unique uh, identity of Hesonite. Hesonite garnet. The fourth one is Imperial garnet. Imperial garnet is below. See. Ceylon Imperial garnet in Sri Lanka. Ceylon Imperial Hesonite garnet, this ring. Rare Golden Imperial Grossonite garnet. Imperial garnet, 129 carats. Imperial garnet, 517 carats. Polar imperial garnets, see what it is. Light pink, transparent gem variety of glossular garnet is called imperial garnet. Light pink. Ceylon imperial garnet is an impressive variety of garnet from this colorful stone family. The gemstone exhibits Pleasant use of orangish yellow, honey peach shade, honey peach shade, making it a fun pick, fun pick of pick for jewelry. Ceylon Imperial Garnet belongs to the Grossular Garnet group, which is known for its most extensive color range. Not expensive, extensive color range. If you forgot to subscribe yet, please subscribe and share it. Now we are moving to number five. Number five is Luco Garnet. It is white variety. See, these white, all white stones are Luco Garnets. It is colorless. See, Luco Garnet rough. This is Grossula Garnet, brownish yellow. Colorless transparent variety of grossular garnet is called Luca garnet. Small stones are available and very expensive. Remember, it is very expensive white color, pure colorless garnet, transparent. Colorless garnet is known as Luco garnet. It is very rare. Quality specimens prized by gem collectors. So when you are work on garnets, you will receive this. So please remember it is very expensive and collectors gem quality. So there is a big price. White color, pure white, colorless, transparent variety of Grossula Garnet. Now we are moving to this. It is number six, Malaya Garnet. Reddish orange from reddish orange form of spacetite garnet. Spacetite garnet is in singular Ratna Gomeda, not Hessenite. This is spacetite. It is little bit rare variety and beautiful variety. Spacetite is shiny garnet than the other old garnets. Spacetite is shine. The Malaya garnet means spacetite with pyro. Pyro garnet and spacetite garnet mixed with both together, then it comes as Malaya garnet. Malaya is a city of another country, African country, or more accurately, a mixture intermediately between spacetite and pyro. Spacetite and pyro mixture is called Malaya garnet. We can't find Malaya garnet in Sri Lanka. That originates from Tanzania and Kenya. Umba River Valley, Umba River Valley in Tanzania and Kenya. Tanzania and Kenya is the main country's supply Malaya garnet. Very beautiful color because of spacetite and the pyro. Pyro is beautiful variety inside garnet. Spacetite is shiny variety. Then both are together there. So it is called Malaya garnet. Price, high price. This term is sometimes also used as 
synonym for spacetite. In some time, they are calling Malaya Ghana teas as spacetite, but it is different. Malaya Ghana tea is a variety of garnet with unusual color of appearance, usually a variety of pyrope. This variety has a broad range of colors from pink to orange. Look at the pink to orange colors in Malaya garnet. See, beautiful. This is brown Malaya garnet. Now we are moving to number seven. That is Mali garnet. Mali is another country. City name. Look at the colors inside the Mali garnets. See all the colors. Try to understand the colors and the rough, rough lots. Ola Mali garnet. What is that? We'll see. Garnet gemstone from the African country of Mali that ranges in color from green to yellow. Green to yellow. Not only yellow. Green to yellow to brown. Though most often a greenish yellow. That is Mali garnet. The scientific classification of the Mali garnets are not clearly identified yet. They can be either grossular or androdite. Can you see grossular garnet, androdite garnet? Though are usually an intermediary form closer in chemical structure to grossular. It is very closer to grossular. One of the rare varieties in the garnet group is Mali garnet is a blend of grossula and androdite. Blend of grossula and androdite is called Mali. Blend of pyrope and uh, early we learn pyrope and what is it? Spacetite is Malaya. Here blend of blend of grossula and androdite is Mali garnet. Blend of grossula and androdite is Mali garnet. Blend of spacetite and pyrope garnet is Malaya garnet. Malaya garnet and Mali garnet is not in Sri Lanka. So the knowledge in Sri Lankans are very low here. That's why I mentioned it again and again. Then where can we found? Found in only Mali. We can found this only Mali, West Africa, Mali garnet, also known as grandite. Another name for Mali garnet is grandite. It's a rare mixture of grossularite and androdite, well noted for its brilliance and dis dispersal. Look at this stone. See the brilliance and the dispersal. That is the Number one, brilliance and dispersion inside the garnet that is called Mali garnet. The other one is spacetite, but the Mali garnet is advanced than that. What is this? Garnets occasionally displace asterism in the form of four edged stones. Look at the four edged stones. We can cabbage on six ray, six ray one here. Star garnets, these are called star garnets, are very rare and generally occur in opaque stones. These are opaque, not transparent or translucent. All the stones are opaque. See the rough stone. So these opaque stones create the star. 4A star or 6A star. You know how to start the star, how to create the star. There is a uh, 60 degrees difference in layers. We, we learned it in uh, lesson number two. So you know how it creates. Two layers needs to create the 4A star and three layers we need to create the 6A star. So it is not a very big thing. You know the, uh, you know the physics inside here. And these are the opaque gemstones with asterism. So, however, star garnets are very rare and generally occur opaque stones with only as weak asterism effect. Thus, inter interest in star garnets are limited because of the weak star. The interest is limited. Now look at the rough stone also. 
those are rafts. These are cabbage on cut and polished cabbage on. We are learning in next lesson 27. It is garnered part four. Join us and learn, embrace your future and look at this diagram. Earlier also I mentioned you need to take the printout and remember the pyrope, alamandine, spacetine and the grossula. These are aluminium members. Uravite, andradite and grossula are calcium members. Now look at the color iron, manganese, magnesium, manganese, ferrous calcium, iron, magnesium. Look at the chemical formula and everything. This is very important to remember. Take the screenshot here, this one. Take a printout. Then you can understand. If you have any problem regarding these symbols, you can find my phone number inside the channel and call me through WhatsApp, Messenger or Direct. I will answer 24 into 7 and I will give advices to remind this. Okay. Then we will meet on lesson number 27. I am going to stop.